Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Wow, this is one huge box. This is a new 3D printer by Wall 3D and it's called the Aster Max. So let's open it up and check it out. This is the Aster Max and the Max in the name should be indicative that it's big. This 3D printer has a build volume double of the Ender 3. In the box, we have a power cord, this small packet holding the accessories and screws, a filament holder, this is the extruder column which needs to attach onto the base. We have another section below which has the base with a huge glass plate. Print volume is 40 by 40 by 40 centimeters, which is massive. This is the biggest 3D printer in terms of volume that I've unboxed. We have the Aster Max branding here. There are two cables from the bottom which needs to be connected to the appropriate locations onto the extrusion column. We have provided all the screws necessary in the accessory packet. This also has the allen keys and spanner. Also included is a nozzle and a teflon tube. The cable goes here behind the build plate and are to be fastened down using these small screws. Attach the printing column to the base and tighten down the bolts using the provided allen key set. Attach these small cables on the sides and this little one. And this is another ribbon cable which goes between the bottom and the extruder tower. And this is how the completed 3D printer looks. The metal reinforcement around the glass bed keeps it safe. Just look at the size of it. Here's an Ender 3 bed for scale. We have a USB port, a SD card slot and a USB-C port in front. And this is how the SD card goes in. The filament holder slides in like so. The extruder is direct drive, meaning it at its house above the nozzle and pulls in the filament directly. Here's the power port and switch. Plug in the cable provided and turn the printer on. Once the printer turns on, we have the Wall 3D logo on screen. This is the touchscreen and it starts up quite fast. The touchscreen allows us to interact with the printer. It allows us to level the bed, start a print and also set up the defaults for the printers such as nozzle and bed temps. We can also set the Z offset if you find the printer is not keeping the appropriate height between the bed and the nozzle. As this printer has been traveling, I'm going to run a quick bed leveling. And the printer uses a self-developed automatic leveling using 36 points. We can see the printer tap the nozzle at multiple points on the bed to find the optimum height it needs to have a level print. Now that that's done, let's try out a print. The SD card already has two files on it. The SD card also has a copy of Cura on it for slicing the models. Printing is underway. but I seem to have lost the initial part of the print, but this is how the rest of the print took place. The model took a little more than five hours, but that's quite fast compared to my Ender 3. This is how the model looks, has come out well. I have yet to remove the supports. The print popped off the bed quite easily once it cooled down as the bed is made of glass. So what are the pros of the Wall 3D Aster Max 3D printer? One is the large build volume, easy to put together, very quiet while printing, direct drive extruder, inbuilt leveling, filament runout protection, the works. But one nitpick I have is the placement of the power plug, more the switch actually as it's not easily reachable. Other than that, it's a very easy to use 3D printer and it is recommended if you need large build volumes. So that was the video, make sure to like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.